welcome to Nerd Mageddon. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is Nerd McGinn here at KZLX LP Maryville. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump right on. It is Nerd News Now. I am your host, Corey Herzog, and with me I have Johnny. Hi, everybody. I have Devin. Hello. Will. Hello. And a special returning guest, our former host, Court. Never going to leave. <laughs> you no, know you are not. <laughs> All right, guys, let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Um, Wicked is finally getting the movie it deserves. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, they finally, they've been talking about it for years. We got a release date, March 21st, 2021. Y'all, this is either going to be the greatest thing in my life, or it's going to make me hate this musical. Has, have they said who's going to be in it? No, they okay. haven't released. Give us some uh, tasty, because I got some Dreamcast if you got a Dreamcast. Oh, cast, I do. I do it. have a Dreamcast. It's from that article. And I'm not talking about me. Sega. Huh? <laughs> 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 Yeah, so my dream cast for Alphaba, the main character of The Wicked Witch, Barrett Wilbert Weed, she played Veronica and Heather's the musical. Of course. She also plays Janice and Mean Girls the musical. If you would if you could have it your way, she'd play every yeah. main female role. I, I just love her so much. <laughs> um then for Galinda, uh Perry Edwards from Little Mix. Uh she has a really good vocal range, which you need to play Glinda, because you go from like, you know, ballads to opera. Like there are some opera moments in there. Um, and then for The Wizard, Hugh Jackman. All right. Uh, for Fierro, Brendan Yuri from Panic at the Disco. Mm -hmm. uh, for Madame Morrible, I actually want it to be uh, Kristen Chenoweth. She played the original Galinda. Hmm. And then just because I want uh, Idina in there, she'd play Elphaba's mom. So I would love to see a little duo between Idina and Hugh Jackman. So Hollywood, if you're listening, please, please, just this one thing for me. <laughs> I'm just definitely down with the Brandon Yuri thing. That I also had him on my list. Yeah. But I think um, there was a star born recently called Lady Gaga. Well, she was already star before that. Yeah. She was wearing meat dresses. I think Lady Gaga could rock uh, Elphaba. Ooh. Easily. Mm -hmm. I like that. That's unpopular choice. But And then going to like a safe route, I would have um, Anna Kendrick. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can see Anna Kendrick doing it. I'm not a big fan of Lady Gaga doing it. Uh, this I, did, I think she has the chops. Like I, yeah. Oh, for sure. I don't know. Maybe it's my own personal preference because I'm not a big Lady Gaga fan, mm -hmm. and Wicked is my baby. Like, if you guys think I love Heathers, I love Wicked more. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just want to be very protective of it. And, I, and Vera has said that she wants to play Elphaba. Like, she is straight up said she's like, I either want to do it on stage or in a movie. So I just really want her to do it. A lot of people want her to be Nessa Rose, which is Elphaba's little sister, but I, I want also, her to be Elfie. Also, I'd also settle for the Dina Manda, uh, Manziel clone, Leah Michelle. Yes. Yeah, I would definitely yeah. Say, but that I could seems see very Leah safe. doing it. That seems very safe. Yeah. But um, also, you got to give me uh, Nathan Lane. He's the voice of Timon. you got to give me him as the wizard. He already has done Broadway. And Meryl Streep, if Meryl Streep is not in this. I mean, because this available. director is the director who directed not only Billy Elliot for the film, mm -hmm. but for stage. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I I hope we get a good cast. That's yeah. all I'm Hopefully saying. Hopefully they take their time, because this is originally scheduled to be uh, the end of this year, but uh, a movie called Cats with uh, T. Swift, and I forget who else is in it, took its place. Which makes I hate literally cats. like zero sense. Yeah, I'm right. glad that you hate cats because I also hate cats. And when we first met, I was like, she's going to give it a pass because there are cats in it. <laughs> no. Okay. Contrary to popular belief, just because my DJ name is Miss Kitten does not mean I'm a cat person. I'm not a cat person. <laughs> that is. Oh, well, a just... cat person or a cat person because they're two different things and one of them you definitely aren't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, is, one is being like a cat and one is liking cats. <laughs> yeah. Both. And to be fair, cats do not generally like other cats, uh, yeah. so, you yeah. know. That'll explain why my roommate's cat hates me. Scar loves you, though. Scar does love me, Scar and I love Scar. everyone, Winston, though. if you're listening, I don't like you. I don't think he's listening. I don't think he is either. I think it wouldn't matter if he was listening, <laughs> because cats don't speak English. All right. Uh, moving on to animals who can't speak English. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. I 
Oh, go, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, it's coming uh, back to Hulu. Um, actually, no, not back to Hulu. It's becoming it's coming, like coming to Hulu. Hulu. It's basically going to be a thing, which is great. And it's directed by my very own favorite director, uh, Kevin Smith. And he's finally got work that is not his own, which is great. Honestly. I was so upset with Howard the Duck. And when Guardians showed him at the end, I was like, please, please do not let this become a comeback for Howard the Duck. I do not want any more Howard the Duck. But an animated series is where Howard the Duck belongs. He doesn't need a movie. He doesn't need like a show or anything like an animated series would work. And if anybody's going to do it, I want Kevin Smith to do it. That so I am actually surprisingly positive about this announcement. I'm on the complete opposite. I, I'm a Howard Duck fan. Like, if you have not read the new run where he's a private detective. I, I don't but, know anything about the comics. I just hated that old okay. movie. The old movie, I have a soft spot that I hate. I, or I love, like, people most hated movies. I love, I have a soft spot for Masters of the Universe, which people hate with Dolph Lundgren. And... Yes, Howard or Howard the Duck was horrible. It was not. It shouldn't have been horrible because it was directed by this guy named George Lucas. But he's polished. Uh, he, he's he could directed. only polish. Name name a George Lucas directed I movie was by that was very good. <laughs> name, it was produced, but, but it was. Uh, dir- oh yeah, yeah. Best known for his association okay. with George Lucas. It was a Willard. Yuck. <laughs> that's how you. It's H U Y C K. So I'm assuming that's yuck. I would have put I would have put um, my name as Mallard in no, the credits. The director of Howard the Duck, the original movie, and George Lucas both worked on Star Wars, if you can believe it or not. Wow. So I don't. That's, that's <laughs> like, There's only like three credits to like this guy's name, but the only reason I recognize that George Lucas has anything to do with Star Wars is that he did the prequels, so clearly he has something to do with Star Wars. But oh, yeah. I. He's one of those people, kind of like J.J. Abrams, where it's like he's good at coming up with ideas. When he gets total control, I feel like he always makes them fall flat. Hence the prequels for Star Wars. Yes. The great news with this is like uh, this is going to kind of be a redemption factor for Defenders. They're a group called the Offenders, Mm -hmm. which was not the original group. The original group consisted of rivals to different people so you had baron mordor was a rival to dr strange you had red hulk was a rival to hulk hulk yeah and so this is awesome because you got Patton oswalt hopefully yes. he voices he's producer he's right modok writer yeah and hopefully he voices modok modok is a is a awesome guy but he gets no love and i can totally see him being a family sitcom where he just gets no he's a giant Mutant guy with a big head, little arms. Everybody hates Modoc. Everybody hates Modoc. <laughs> his kids don't, and his wife don't give him any respect. I, I can see that totally working really well. And then you got uh, you got another favorite of mine because I'm a huge X Men sweaty. So you got Dazzler and uh, Tigra. Tigra, yeah. So Tigra basically just wears a bikini. Hopefully they give her a little bit more. Uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> but Dazzler is a '70s roller roller skating punk rock girl who can shoot sparkles out of her hands. I think I like basically. this girl. <laughs> and so I'm so down for this. After the flop that was Gem. I, uh, I'm, I'm hoping Dazzler will will bring some of the sparkle back. This feels very like the Adult Swim. Uh, yes. World of Harvey Hulk. Birdman type. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Harvey. Which is also coming. Well, it came back. They had a special, um, which just came out of nowhere, and then that same day they announced a new season of Twelve Ounce Mouse. That's so amazing. So yeah, there's just a lot of good talent. So uh, is are these like all like shows there? I know I was for sure about like Howard the Duck, um, and then Patton Oswalt's gonna mm-hmm. do Modoc. Yes. Um, I didn't know about the third thing, but yeah, um, Tiger and Dazzler. These are all coming Connected. to Hulu. I yes. Think, yes. Yeah, so. mm-hmm. They are. It's. It, really I cool. from what I hear, it's going to be very similar to the Defenders, where they have their own thing and then they all meet in uh, one event. Does Hulu have a lot of like? animated like series i i, I don't, I don't really so. go on there a lot I, I mean they original have, no they pick up uh, yeah i'm your american they have like king of the yeah. hill yeah and they pick Family up your american and, all that jazz. and they have like some anime as i'll probably have you geek them in they have a good like anime selection i saw they um, do i can't remember really exactly what's on there but it's i mean they not, recommended not really akira to me the other it, day and i was like it's I pretty should watch mainstream akira. i suppose uh, but is that i really like Hulu. where it's at yeah yeah i like hulu's documentaries yeah they got sailor moon yeah they do um also, speaking of uh, 
your favorite director. Yes. Um, isn't he also doing the Jay and Silent Bob thing? Yep, so we were going to talk about this when it was uh, kind of more relevant in the news, but there's always, like, stuff coming up about it, it this cre- movie. There's more news that came yeah, out. Yeah, there's it's, more. It, there's always things coming out, so this is great. Um, So Kevin Smith is bringing back his, like, two most iconic characters, Jay and Silent Bob, to create the uh, Jay and Silent Bob reboot, and that's its working title, Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. Um, I would like if they just stuck with that. Well, yeah, everything about this movie, like, I am so for... I I usually don't stick with, like, one director, okay? But I've been been anticipating for at least something of his work to, like, come out, honestly, Mm -hmm. because he announced, like, a couple years ago that he wouldn't be doing Mallrats 2 or uh, Clerks 3, which are, like, the two things that, like, everybody was kind of, like, hoping for, but at the same time, like, people didn't really, like, want or need, you know? Mm -hmm. So instead he comes out with this reboot... Um, Have they're you doing... seen everything in his filmography? Because I've missed things like Tusk and I miss Red State. Oh yeah, Red, Red State's a must watch. Tusk was pretty good. Um, but the I only, grew, the I only grew film up with, that like, Chasing Amy. Yeah, yeah. Clerks the only and... film that I wouldn't really recommend is like Jersey Girl, and that's usually people like skip was, over that. Yeah, it was a light um, on. The... You can watch Dogma on like YouTube or something like that. And then Clerks is on Netflix. Clerks is the most like iconic mm-hmm. um, of his films. It's like the best. It's made for twenty seven thousand dollars. That's oh. that's the budget for this film, um, which back in nineteen ninety four was like amazing. Nobody had uh, ever really done that besides like maybe. He also um, saved on color, black and white. Yeah, right. The first one. I think he was the only one to do that besides um, Rodriguez with uh, El Mariachi in, I think, 1992 or 91. Uh, that film was made for, like, 14000 or something like that. But um, they're doing a big casting call right now um, in New Orleans. Um, I might, I might, you know... Cosplay. Yeah, yeah. I, you can, like, you can yeah. cosplay and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, and not much... Not oh, many... also, uh, they wanted... Okay, they had the 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 um, the movie store, yeah, uh, what, whatever it was called, in something. The stash, yeah. Yeah, right next to well, the movie store right on in Clerks, right next to the convenience store. So basically, with this new generation we live in, with kiosks for uh, Redbox, they actually reached out to Redbox and they're like, "Hey, uh, we want to basically uh, bring you guys into it because we can't do video stores anymore. They're not relevant. Yeah. So they want to strike a deal with Redbox. Yeah. Yeah, so this movie's going to come out. Um, I think they sh- they said that they're going to be done sometime in, like, I don't know if they're going to be done in August or they're going to, like, start filming yeah. in August. That's kind of, like, unknown right now. But, All yeah, right. I'm excited. Yeah, and going from the unknown to the known, uh, we have some Nintendo Direct information. Yeah, so... Indeed. So um, that was, it, it, the, as Nintendo does, they gave us one day in advance to um, know that the Nintendo Direct was coming out. But a lot of the rumors um, have been going on for weeks that it was going to happen on the 13th. So I'm glad it happened. Um, it was not my favorite Direct, though. Um, I'm glad that uh, I like I can I can separate easily what I want and what I know people like in general want. And a lot of people seem to be very happy about it. And so I'm really happy about that um i am because it means that they're they're doing what the people want and even if it's not what i personally want they're not answering my emails and my letters so like i guess they're not listening to me but but as far as what people want they're doing a really good job of that and um Charlie and, just sends a letter every week. Right. He doesn't put an address or a return. He just <laughs> says Nintendo on the outside, and he hands it to his post person, and there's just a sheet of paper that says Banjo. <laughs> banjo like, for Smash. Just in red can- crayon, just Banjo. <laughs> Can you explain, like, what the Nintendo Direct is exactly? So basically, yeah. it's a um, it's a it, it's an update that comes out um, every month or every few month, every other month. Um, and it's kind of like a, this is what we're doing. Um, this is uh, new game announcements, um, updates on game announcements, uh, uh, DLC releases, and even shadow drops. Um, uh, shadow drops are um, uh, this comes out immediately, like right now, and like without without any like um, without any warning. Basically, what Piranha Plant was, except there was no announcement for that shadow drop. They just kind of like. Like they just released it without telling anyone they released it, and then people found out. Um, but for this, um, they announced uh, the top four games for me um, of the announcements were Super Mario Maker Two. Um, Give us the slopes. So yeah, they were listening. Yes, they were, and so that's one thing that I people really love. Demanded is that, slopes. Yeah. Video well, involved. and after they botched the 3DS version, and after they removed uh, comments from the Wii U, mm-hmm. I think people were really 
pushing for them to do a re-release of Mario Maker in some fashion. They were like, it's not fun anymore, but it used to be like the best thing ever. Yeah. You know? And so it's, it's, it's actually a smart move of them not to port it, but instead to make a sequel. Yeah. Because I think that's what people wanted, and, and it's just a lot of new content, a lot of new options. Um, and uh, that comes out in uh, June of this year. Um, another big one is uh, Yoshi's Crafted World, which um, Shadow dropped a um, a demo version where we can play one level. And Court and I have both played it. Have you played so, it, Devin? So sweet. I have not. So sweet and so cute. Like it I is, said, it gave me diabetes. It is the oh, it is the most adorable cute, game like I think I've ever played. Um, I I loved. Uh, I didn't I didn't buy Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, but yeah, that is was this all... very similar? In in, in concept, yes. Did you um, ever play Little Big? But I think I think yeah. Okay. The think difference of that with the dinosaur. The difference All there right. is that, like, everything was made of yarn, and so, like, the concepts was always, like, if you want to uncover the next world, it just pulls the string and re- reveals the new thing. And mm-hmm. this one, everything is craft. So it's, um, like, uh, you know, they use plastic and glass and cardboard and, and, and construction paper, and it's milk all, cartons. like, yeah, it, it milk cartons. That's it's really cool. It's Labo digital. It, yeah, it is. And it actually, is. they and you referenced... you don't have to buy uh, cardboard. Yeah, they uh, referenced the Nintendo Labo yeah. in, the, uh, in the trailer for it, and um, you can get, like, uh, they call Call them, uh, I think they call them costumes, but like Yoshi can carry around these like um, cardboard uh, cutouts of like like different things, and they give him cer- certain abilities. Like one, I think, is a plane, and so he can like glide when he's like holding on to this cardboard plane. It's so adorable. Very Kirby's Epic Yarn. It is, yarn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it just it's 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 a good one, and I definitely recommend it. It comes out next month. They have um, all, They're gonna get all the family money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the next one is um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, I think that's gonna be really good. I'm not a huge Fire Emblem fan, but I'm trying to get there. So I think this will be somewhere I can. I only ever played. I played Fire Emblem. Japanese 7 American 1, the one for Game Boy Advance. Okay. So, I liked um, it a lot. but And then the last one was uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Yes. It's a uh, complete remake, uh, complete remaster, um, and it looks really good. It um, does. I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not as excited as other people, but I think that it's going to um, get me. I think I'm going to buy it because I didn't play the original um, uh, Link's Awakening from forever ago. And so now it's the perfect chance for that, me to. That's the one that everybody goes back to, and they're like, this is like one of the best old Zelda games of all time. And I, I never got to experience it, and it never really appealed to me, but this looks really good. I'm excited for this. One thing I love about this is that uh, the old um, anima- the old animation was exactly the same as Oracle of Ages and Seasons, mm-hmm. and now that they've made this, remastered this, I'm really hoping that in a year or two they remake uh, Oracle. Oracles and yeah. ages uh or, or oracle seasons and ages because those were my childhood those were my childhood and so i'm hoping that uh we see those sometime in the future in, in that same vein i just want to slip i know we're running out of time but i would just want to slip in here we got another switch announcement i don't think it was part of the direct but it was on the it, it was uh i think it was announced today uh not hollow knight dlc we still have to wait for april for that uh but a second hollow knight game from the perspective of uh, wasp or hornet who is uh, like your sister. And I I think it's going to be like a prequel or something, but it plays, it, they're kind of taking a leaf out of Shovel Knight's book, plays completely differently, um, different mechanics, uh, 150 new enemies, all new bosses, all new areas, and it looks awesome. I would highly recommend you go look up that trailer. I love Hollow Knight. It's like one of my it's top great, games right it's now. A great game. I've been it's fantastic. And last thing is it was confirmed that uh, Joker, the first DLC character, will be released in April. So um, sometime by the end of April, that's all they said. So all that's right. kind of something to look forward to. Yeah. Um, and one thing not to look forward to is uh, apparently EA is kind of a uh targeting some YouTubers? Yes. Yeah, we've had some interesting YouTube news. Apparently PewDiePie is banned from Roblox, and not just him, but you can't talk about PewDiePie or say his name without getting banned, and nobody knows why. Um, so that's interesting. But yes, uh, EA is in some trouble again. Um, what a surprise. But apparently they are starting to back off on, like, review copies and... Uh, like free copies of games and early access and stuff. Basically, whenever they collaborate with creators, um, they're basically backing off from that. If you are the, not, if you are critical of them in any way, you're ba- ba- basically um, uh, the quartering. I think is the big uh, channel that's kind of had this run in. But there are people kind of left to right saying, "Yeah, EA has basically told us uh, say nice things about us, say good things about our games, or we just don't want to work with you anymore." Um, and, and they're not interested in people being honest or, or doing reviews or anything. They're just looking for basically advertisement. Yeah. Uh, and with that, um, 
going from not being honest, uh, Johnny, do you want to reveal our board game of the week? You yeah. are on top of the transitions. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on it, guys. So um, one thing that we're doing this semester is we're bringing our board games to life. And um, we're going to be doing that with quite a few board games. Um, but one of the ones that we're going to do, I believe the first one that we're going to do, yeah. is uh, Sheriff of Nottingham. And so uh, that's what this uh, board game of the week is, the Sheriff of Nottingham. It's essentially a um, game where you have to uh, lie and deceive the person who is a sheriff, um, taking uh, turns by each player um, or a different player each turn and um, try to smuggle illegal goods into the uh, into the uh, store so you can earn more money and um, basically it's the best liars win kind of game so Yo, it tries Johnny on principle. so I typically win these games mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I lose despite the <laughs> fact that everyone funny. targets you you still win yeah yeah everyone comes after me and I still manage to get by because I, yeah, I don't and know. I was an awesome liar and no one ever like came after me and I snuck so much into the store score <laughs> the store and then at the end when we tallied everything up uh it didn't matter because people just had like more money than me yeah <laughs> um do we want to do some quick ratings real quick yeah all right johnny i would say um i would give it um a 7.5 out of 10 um obviously hidden crossbows all right all right uh you stole my 7.5 so 7.7 7 out Ooh. of 10 um uh cheese because that's Four. my thing Give it a seven out of ten. How did that contraband get in there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna downplay it. It's gonna be a six point eight out of ten apples. Okay. Uh, and I am giving it eight out of ten chickens. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fun fact: we Look all kind of all end, those chickens. <laughs> yeah, we all end up like having like that one thing that we try and go for because you can be the king or the queen of a certain product. I always go for the chickens. <laughs> I love chicken. I like to be the king of the illegal goods. We know. <laughs> Cheese all the way. Cheese yeah. Way. Exactly. All right, guys. Here's my man. Well, that has been Nerd News Now and our board game review. Thank you for tuning in. We will be right back.